Independent Senator Dr. Dinesh Mahabir wants equality in the pension arrangement for parliamentarians. He moved a private motion on Tuesday in the Upper House calling for Legislative Retirement Allowances Act, Chapter 203, to be amended to include all senators within the definition of legislators. Dr. Mahabir said there's discrimination in the pension plan because all members of parliament do not have a right to participate in the plan. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, because I understand at some time in the past, there were speakers who were not members, elected members, a speaker could be appointed. But this one, Madam President, this one, the Deputy Speaker was included. The Deputy Speaker was included. Madam President, I feel aggrieved. I feel aggrieved because, Madam President, my Vice President, my esteemed and distinguished vice president is not included in this list. And he's over six feet. And Dr. Mahabir said currently the 24 members of the upper house are excluded from the plan since they aren't elected members. He pointed out that members of the Senate other than ministers earn a base salary of $13,060 and while a minister who has served eight years can earn a reasonable pension of $10,000, the pension for senators was considerably low. At a base salary of 13,013, and I understand, Madam President, that there are some clerks in Petrotrin came out in the news recently who earn much more than $13,060 a month. Yeah. A quarter of that, if you have worked, if you have survived for eight years in the Senate, a quarter of that will amount to $3,265. The upper house is divided on whether or not to change the pension clauses for senators. The debate on the motion to amend the Legislative Retirement Allowances Act kicked off with split views. Government Senator Clarence Rambaraz said it should go to the Salaries Review Commission, while Independent Senator David Small said in old age they must be compensated for serving their country. Melissa Dasrath filed this report. Government Senator and Minister Clarence Rambaraz said he outrightly would not support the amendments, calling it a self-serving, premature and defective motion that is better suited for the Salaries Review Commission rather than the Senate. And I disagree with it. In fact, he says the compensation is what it is. But I disagree with that because we cannot separate the compensation, the, the salary paid to legislators from the benefits in the form of pensions or medical benefits or other things. All form part of the same package, in my view. And it is for the Salaries Review Commission to deal with that matter. Senator Rambarat referred to the Equal Opportunities Act, which he claims justifies discrimination on certain grounds. Opposition Senator Wayne Sturge refuted that saying the law can and should be amended to avoid discriminatory practices, bringing it more in line with the International Labour Organization conventions. That although you may be right in law, that you cannot continue to pursue practices and to keep on the books, laws and regulations which are discriminatory. It is archaic legislation, according to Independent Senator David Small who said it was framed long before TNT became a republic and supports the legislative changes proposed. In the short time that I've been here as a member, I have been a silver as a vice chair and a chair in the previous session and in the current session of parliament, I serve as a chairman and I'm a member of two other committees. And it takes a lot of my time. When one of our, our members of our bench finds themselves in personal difficulty, ends up in a place that you wouldn't think that someone who has come to these benches and served here finds themselves in personal health and they can't maintain themselves. What are we, what, what are we, what are we, what is the argument about? Why, what, why is he pushed back? I don't get it. Respectfully, Madam President. It's important to note that the majority of senators who are debating this legislative retirement motion do not currently qualify to receive a pension because the existing law requires not less than eight consecutive years of service. So even the mover of the motion, Dr. Dane Sharma Habir, who first came to the Senate in 1996, does not meet the requirement. Melissa Dasrath, C News.